Well, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Made it home last night with Avon at 6 o'clock in the morning now. I uh, already been down here once and checked on her. And then went back in the house and fed a couple of the dogs. And uh, now I'm going to go down here and get ready to milk her in just a short. But I'll come down here and show you Avon, being as all of you wanting to see her. She's a beautiful cow. She met me at the gate when I come down here a few minutes ago. She seen me, she bellowed at me, and she walked up to the gate. As soon as she done that, I knew it was a good sign. We're gonna get along just fine. And I actually went in the pen and grabbed her halter, put my arm around her neck and patted her neck and rubbed on her neck just like her mom did. And she stood there and acted like we were best friends. I'll turn the camera around so you can see Avon. Well, here's Avon. Stand here waiting. She's probably wanting to be milked. So I'm going to see if I can't get this rope on her. This lead rope and uh, get her set up somewhere where I can milk her out. I got to get a place permanently set up for her, but where I can get her, have her milk her out every morning and every night. <clears throat> Ain't she pretty? Okay, she's listening to me talk to you guys. Paying attention, what's going on? I think she'll fit right in here. She'll get used to the routine every day and enjoy her life. I'll get back to you here in just a little bit. Okay, right here's where I milked her. I just had her lead rope tied to this. Of course, she had plenty of slack where she could move around. And I put her food down here in the tub she was eating that. I had it up against this tire. And I got her body over in this area up against the trailer and I was sitting down here, squatted down and milking her. I had the, I don't have a milk pail yet. I went to Fleet Farm the other day and they were sold out. So I gotta get one of them yet. But anyways, I had a big pot, stew pot or whatever, great big one. One of the stainless ones anyhow. I was milking her in that. And then she, this thing started moving around as she's eating that food and stuff. So she wandered over. So I got out of her way. Well, then pretty soon her body was over this direction. And so I just set the pot underneath her and continued milking her. And then, of course, she was licking, trying to get it out of the corners of this tub and stuff. And moved over and she happened to catch that pot. And as you can see, Penny's licking the ground there. The pot tipped over. And I was just getting close to getting done milking her out. But anyhow, set the pot back up, caught just, saved just a little, very little bit of milk in the bottom of the pot. And I thought, well, I'll finish her out and see what I end up with. And I end up with a half gallon of milk this morning. When I did get her over here, this direction, after she tipped the pot over, I used this to sit on because I was just knelt down next to her. But then I flipped this bucket over because that's what I brought the feed down and dumped in this tub. So I flipped it over and used this milking stool and milked her and she stood fine. She quit licking in the tub. She could have gotten the rest of that out, but she quit licking. Just stood there and let me finish getting her milked out. And I did end up with a half gallon of milk. That's the rest of this video. I'm going to let you all go. Um, I'll be doing more videos. Maybe I'll get my GoPro set up on a tripod. The little deal that holds my GoPro. The little case that it goes in is broke. I have to get a new one of them, maybe get my GoPro set up, and then I can actually do a milking. Either that or have somebody come record me when I'm sitting there milking one of the two. But you'll see more of Avon in future videos. See y'all later, and don't forget I love you. Bye.